What's up everyone, it is OC Auto Stuff, and today we are going to be headed up to Tehachapi. Here we have just some cars in the Mojave train yard in Mojave, which is pretty cool. And today we're going to see a bunch of cool stuff. We're going to see two H1 power, Union Pacific, a Union Pacific EPU, BNSF, the Tehachapi Loop, KCS, H1, KCS and H1 Power and one consist, and as well as ATSF. Let's get to it. Here we are at downtown Tehachapi's Railroad Museum. I was filming from the back deck as the clerk opened up the doors to the back. So here we are filming a southbound, and I have no idea where this was coming out of or where it was headed. It may have been coming out of Stockton and heading to Long Beach, but it is unknown. Right? So here we go. Uh, enjoy. Here we are, the Tehachapi Loop. It was very quiet as I waited for the train to arrive. All of a sudden, we see the train on the northern part of the route. This train was a southbounder coming out of Bar out of sorry coming out of Stockton and heading into Barstow. Now making its way through the northern part of the loop.
All right, here comes the BNSF train heading from Stockton to Barstow, making its way through the lowest part of the Tehachapi Loop. This train cons consisted of an H1 power in front of a KCS. This train is now headed t towards the east, as we can tell right now. It will then head back north before it heads south along the loop. Now, the train is heading along the highest part of the route. This train headed through a tunnel in the hill, and it is now heading through the highest part of the route.
We're almost done. We just need to get through two or three, actually four. Four more quick things. We're going to see some very interesting things, including um, Kern County Fire Department Bell UH-1H helicopters. They're super Huey helicopters used to fight wildfires. We will also see more Union Pacific action, the BNSF southbound, ATSF, and another Union Pacific. Please stand by. And here we have a freight crossing with a BNSF H bar stow with with ATSF 659 a D a either a dash eight or a dash nine trailing, and on the other side is BNSF H stow bar, and and I got a okay view with the KCS and the H1 power, but it was definitely closer than when I was up there. And there was also med DPUs on the northbound, as you can see. Very nice. Sorry, I'm slobbery right now. <laughs> I'm trolling for some reason. Uh, that's why I made that noise. I was sucking it in. So, but yeah, here is a view of the rear DBU at the end, and here is the front of the southbound train, of the southbound BNSF train, and you can see the third engine is a KCS, and the second engine is an H1, uh, very easy to see. And the rest is Dash 9s and ES44C4 slash ES44DCs, probably ES44C4s, pretty cool day. As I got closer and closer to home, things got a little bit more interesting. For example, windmills in the background of this, and this Union Pacific northbound pulling the cars out of Mojave. This was pretty cool to see, but now we gotta close this off. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I hate to beg for subscribers, but I really need them right now as I am competing with somebody at school um, to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of May. So I really need that right now. So, um, but until the next video, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you in the next one as well. Um, and more videos coming up soon. Alright, peace out.